fishing and we're on a um, adventure. I'm in a new spot. I'm, I've decided to go to a completely new area. I'm taking the big boat with the little boat on the roof. We're going to um, yeah go for hopefully three days. I've got crab pots. I've got uh, cast net, lures. Yeah, we're going to explore and uh, cook up some delicious seafood. I've been here once before in my little boat. But yeah, I've got to be really careful. I don't get um, get stuck or even bump into the bottom. This boat weighs 2.8 ton roughly. Tide's actually going out, which is yeah not the best for trying to get up a creek. Um, so yeah, I've just got to pay attention and see where I'm going. Found a channel here. It's um, staying at two meters deep. Let's hope it stays that deep. Okay, we're inside the mouth now, so we're following the deeper channels. They're actually not any deeper than. Um, than the mouth was so hopefully I can find a spot to anchor because I need yeah at least a meter below low tide to anchor but we're inside the mangroves and I've just remembered uh, I've got a couple of squid light as well let's have a look we've got yeah 2.2 meters of water here so I'll just do a, um, a loop and, and see if there's any sort of dead trees or, or rocks on the bottom I don't want to get the anchor stuck here but I think this is our spot. We've got mangroves on that side, mangroves ahead of us, mangroves there, and the mouth is over that way. We're in! Woo! Haha, <laughs> just gotta put the anchor down. I wanna try and get right in the middle of the river if I can. That looks about right. Down. The anchor's going down. And there we are. We might stay here two nights. It depends on how bad the mosquitoes and sand flies are. Let's have a look. Have a look where we are. Woohoo! Oh, I wonder what's going on there. The dinghy's got a bit of a. Yeah. It's a bit deflated. Let's have a look in here. Oh no. There's supposed to be a board here. That must have fallen out on the way. Let's see. Oh. I've got these boards, that's lucky. I'll have to get that down and sort it out. Not ideal, I am actually a little bit worried about crocodiles in this area. You can see how dirty the water is. This is crocodile water, and it's a river system not too many people go to. So I've got one, two of those, that one. I'm missing one of these, and then I'm missing the, the headboard. So half the boat doesn't have a bottom in it. Not ideal. Hmm. We'll see how that dinghy goes. I'm not excited about having the front bit all floppy. I must be really careful I don't puncture it or anything. That works. That was first pull and second pull. Now it's running. It just occurred to me I should get a um, like a little screenshot for the um, thumbnail the video. Let's see what this looks like. <laughs> I couldn't get chicken frames. That that worked really well last time, but I've got chicken necks, so hopefully that work work pretty well in the crab pots. Low tides pretty much on sunset and sunrise, so mid high tide all day long. So I think tomorrow I might have to go for a bit of an explore if, if I feel safe in the little dinghy. We'll see how we go. There's one more thing I've got to do before I go fishing or crabbing is put up the 300 watt solar panel from iTech World. I've tested this a couple of times, even when it's not pointing straight at the sun um, and tiny little bits of shade on it, I'm still getting 200, 220 watts out of it. So yeah, it might be something to do with the, um, the raptor skin coating. 
Um, but the other thing I was going to tell you is, so whether you're looking for a new solar panel or a 120 amp hour deep cycle battery, iTech World has a Black Friday sale on right now. Some of the items are up to 85% off and you get a 5% discount code on top of whatever percentage they have on the sale if you use my um, link in the description. And I've been using the 120 amp hour lithium deep cycle batteries for, I'd say two years now. I cannot fault them. They have really high specs. The, um, the, the cycles that you get out of them is just amazing. The ones in my little boat, I reckon they'll last 20 years. They'll outlast the boat. This battery at the moment is 699. That's 120 amp hour lithium, 699. You can't beat that. Last time I was in a shop, they were close to a thousand and they're top quality. For a solar blanket, these at the moment, $649 plus 5% of my discount. The thing I didn't mention before is I tested these and if one of these is shaded, the rest still work. If this one's shaded, the rest work. If this one's shaded, this one works and those ones work. So you can have them at different angles, have part shade. Yeah, they're a little bit dusty. <laughs> yeah, I've been using them out west. Anyway, um, yeah, really good product. So the only thing I'm running at the moment is the fridge. And to be honest, I reckon a 100 watt panel is about all you need to run that, a fridge all day long. This is the solar controller. Just plug it in, make sure that's working. Let's see, going the right way. There we go, look at that. 11 amps, 12 amps almost. That'll be full in, oh, I don't know, half an hour, an hour. Voltage, where's voltage? 13.3 and pumping in just, oh, they're right on 12 amps, there you go. These two away from the sun, those two panels, and then the other ones are right above me here. We know we're near midday, it's um, 2.30 in the afternoon, yeah. Three, I don't know, let's have a look. Uh, three up top and two at the front. So that's even better. I'm getting like 100 and, what's that, 120, 40 watts, something like that, from just the three. And those two aren't even, bit, they're literally in the shade. drop these crab pots in and while I'm doing that I'm gonna keep a really good eye out for crocodiles um, yeah I am really freaking out a little bit in this dinghy I can't actually go fast like I don't think I'll be able to get it on the plane because the whole bottom is now floppy and yeah there's this like the front of the boats all really floppy so we make it back without getting chomped on or nibbled on any footprints or slides I'll be freaking out nothing yet Pot number one. Okay, we'll drop one right next to this drain here. There we go. So we'll go between this mud bank and that mud bank. This is actually more for my um, reference in case I um, yeah, can't find these because I don't have GPS and the ropes are black so they're very hard to find. Last pot. Hope we get some crabs. Haven't seen any croc sign yet, but that doesn't mean anything. And I've also skipped a lot of area to fish already. So yeah, let's just start fishing here. So I've only brought one rod with me. I don't plan on going too far from the boat. Although eh, I'll probably get a little bit carried away as I always do. This wind's gonna be a bit of a pain. It's quite strong, but it's keeping the sand flies away. That's a bonus. Okay, first cast of the trip. Perfect. Even though I've started on a drain, I, I do think the snags are gonna be, gonna be where I'm gonna get my fish. Um, I'm actually after mangrove jack and cod. Barramundi season has closed, and at the moment there is a reef fin fish closure, which means no reef fishing. Oh! Oh, about my fifth cast. That was out in the middle here. No idea what it was. The 
tide obviously hasn't stopped yet. It's still going out. Just make the best of it that I can. Seems very crockish in here. No slides yet, but also no fish. Hmm. Hopefully that's not a croc there. It's a big lump on the side. Can usually find fish in these creeks, but today I'm struggling. Probably only got another hour before it starts, yeah, getting a little bit dark. Yeah, I don't know if I like the look of that thing over there. I'll have to check it out, but yeah, hoping it's not a crock. Just thought I'd mix it up, try um, a lighter colour. This water's actually really dirty. Didn't expect it to be this dirty. Mangrove Jack, I mean this, it's in a bay that's usually really clean and uh, Mangrove Jack like the, the cleaner water, but yeah, it's not what we're getting today. I just tried to back out because I saw fish on the outside here and then I got hit a couple of times. Let's see if we can get them. That's not where they are, they're more to the left. But that's where I got hit just now. Yep, oh, that was a hit. Oh, drifting too fast. Right in the zone. Oh, got him. Oh, another hit. All right, we'll go back there. Yeah, as soon as that sun goes right near the horizon, I'm out of here. Because then it gets real scary. Let's see if we can get this fish in here. I reckon there's a couple of fish in here. Come on, fishy. Nope, not that time. Yeah, that current's really starting to rip in now. Oh, something there. Something there. Yep, got him, that's one. Oh, and he snapped me off. Ah. Oh. I don't think it was a barracuda, but he snapped it right where the, where the hook was. Oh, not my day today. So on the upside, I haven't seen a single crocodile track or slide. This is the spot where you'd see them. There's a few areas like this in this, this creek, but so far, no crocodiles, fingers crossed. And I'm gonna have to head back shortly. That's, um, yeah, the sun's just over the top of that hill. Uh, I don't want to be in here when it's dark. I am thinking I'll check the crab pots on the way home though. I just need one cod or mangrove jack. They'll be in here for sure. I've got about 20 minutes I reckon and then I've got to, I'm going to head back. That almost got me. It's not supposed to start in gear. Mmm. The sun's now behind the mountain, well behind the mountain. Still no croc slides. And yeah, no fish. <laughs> um, we'll see. See if I can get some live bait or something. I'll, I'll put the light out. And I'm pretty sure this episode's going to include most of, if not all of tomorrow as well. So I can't, can't have a video with no fish. Um, yeah, it's just not how I do things. river was the it was actually really clear and kind of blue um, yeah I don't know whether the winds made it made it dirtier or I'm in the wrong spot but it wasn't what I was um, expecting let's get back to the boat before the sun like before it's dark starting to get a bit dark I almost couldn't find this one oh, I'm gonna have to throw the boy up a little higher I think no way I can find it that's more like it. They've only been in like three hours, so I don't don't have much hope for them. Yeah, absolutely nothing hasn't been touched. Tell you what, they're hard to see with that black rope, but this is the one between the two mud bars. There it is. Yeah, I can't even see the float. Got it right in there. That's all right. It means no one's going to steal it. Although I don't think too many people come out here. Come on, crabby. 
Have we got anything? Nope. Yeah, it's not long enough. Need to leave them overnight. Okay, this is the one next to the drain. Not that that's gonna help, I don't think. And yeah, it's getting quite dark. I had to try and try and catch a fish. Oh, that's a really deep spot here. Nothing. Okay. Almost didn't see this one. I went past it and then the motor stalled, so we'll just use the paddles. But on the upside, I didn't get eaten by a crocodile today. Always happy when that happens. Or doesn't. <laughs> what have we got? Absolutely nothing. Yeah, the boat's probably a little close to the mangroves on this side. Hopefully the sand flies aren't too bad. There we go. Doink. We made it. Ah, oh, and we're still alive. Haven't been eaten. Ah, oh, how good is that? That camera makes it look like it's daylight. It's um, I can yeah just see. I mean it's okay, but yeah, just get a mosquito claw going. This is a <laughs> super lighter. I just what I do is I just put it into like a ceramic plate. And then, yeah, won't burn the boat down. So I look really bright there. Have a look at the sunset. That's more, that's actually more accurate to what the light is at the moment. Just check, solar panel's still good. There we go. Ah, there's the first. Oh, it's, I'm gonna say, like, I, it, I think it's a star, but it might even be a planet. There you go. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, just up there. Oh, I tell you what, it's gonna be very peaceful and quiet. That'll be nice. Heard a couple of fish popping over here, and you can hear um, probably pistol shrimp or yeah, some sort of crustacean cracking in the mangroves. So when it's really dark later on, I'll get the um, the night light out underwater and the head torch too. So the night light will be for attracting little fish, and the head torch just do some do some potential croc spotting. Within 10 seconds of turning the light on, I had a prawn right about here. Oh, what's that? That's a fish. <laughs> oh, then this could be interesting tonight. Oh, there's another one. Another fish. Dinner tonight's pretty basic. A couple of beef burgers with cheese. And a few people have been asking me why I haven't taken the big boat to the reef. I actually have taken it to the reef, I think, twice or three times. Um, but I think the third or fourth time I used it, the... Uh, yeah, the starter motor on the engine, um, literally the top of it just broke off. So I'm doing these trips to get comfortable with the boat. And then once I'm comfortable, then I, yeah, I'll do I'll do longer trips. Every now and then a garfish swims along and I, I try and film it. And yeah, they always just take off. Let's see how dinner's coming along. Yep, not too bad, they're almost done. Yep, they're done. Yeah, just had a look at the forecast and it's yeah tomorrow it's picking up and then after that it's 15 to 20 knots indefinitely so hopefully we catch some fish tomorrow otherwise we'll see what happens anyway i might try and catch one of those garfish by hand they're um swimming around the light there's maybe three or four of them there's a few hanging around now i thought i'd better film them before i scare the crap out of all of them Okay. There's one right there. Another one. Another one. <laughs> oh, a little fat one. Yeah. That's, I don't know what that is. That's a different species. But they're garfish or Americans. Oh, hang on. There's a shrimp. A shrimp just went that way. Um, over in the States, you guys call these needlefish. Let's see. No, they're too far down. Oh freaking out the idea with the head torch is that I blind them and um, yeah I want to try and get one. Oh, there's a shrimp there's a shrimp Ooh, oh some some other weird critter don't know what that is yeah oh look at this look at this here that is bizarre it's a little too far away for me hang on here we go here we go got him oh how's that first go <laughs> Oh, we got bait. How cool is that? There you go. That's a, a garfish. Got him first shot. I had, yeah, I had 
very didn't didn't think I could do that. All right, let's put him on his bait. I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm just going to take the plastic off and put the fish on. Okay, there we go. There's our little bait, and I might try and catch another one. Sorry about the light. <laughs> Go. Set that drag nice and light so that um, when something grabs it, it can just take it. I wouldn't mind trying to film those um, those weird things. There's this one. Oh, they need to come close. Oh, here we go. Here's a couple. I have no idea what they are. They're like a like a worm, maybe. See that one there. They move very fast. There's a garfish. Feel a bit naked right near the water. Look at yeah, these things. That there, I don't know what that is. There's a big gar. Hang on, let's see if we can get him. Ooh, freaking me out. Ah, missed him. That's how I expected it to go. <laughs> okay, here comes a good size one. Oh, these bugs are, bugs are terrible. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, I missed him again. The longer I have this light on, the more bugs come and get me. There's actually there's no point in me trying to film that way because you can't see. Me. And when I put a live bait out or bait, this this reel, that's just two little two fingers grabbing the line, and it's just yeah, really, really loose. I did a couple of practice ones where like I imagined as soon as my fingers touch the water, I'd I'd close my hand as quick as possible. And maybe I just got lucky because yeah, I, did, I missed the missed the next two. Just heard a little tap tap. Let's see if there's anything on here. I actually can't believe how loud the snap, crackle, and popping in the mangroves is. It's just wild. Oh, it feels empty. Oh, they got it. I was thinking about cutting that garfish in half. Yeah, I should have cut it in half. Good morning. Oh, that was a very quiet night. Actually, I wanted to show you. <laughs> I, f I got so excited about going out yesterday. Um, I forgot my pillow and my normal sleeping bag, so I'm just using this this other one. At about five o'clock this morning, the um, sand fly started coming in, so started another coil. And what I'm doing here is I'm actually smoking my clothes. I've got them hanging above the, um, the coil and who knows maybe that'll work it's just an experiment it's um, low tide you see the mud sticking out over here sun oh there it is it's just popping up <laughs> sunrise on the river uh, we are yeah considering where we are like look that's there's mud everywhere just poking up right next to the boat and yeah considering that I didn't have any sand flies or mosquitoes in the um, little cabin last night at all, which is, yeah, it's amazing. But they are a little bit uh, less active on this trip. Oh, there's a bird. Bird feeding on the drain over there. Heard a couple of splashes already this morning. Um, and I think the first thing we're going to do is uh, check the crab pots. Um, I really don't know if we're going to stay here. If I don't catch fish by lunchtime, I think we might have to move. The only problem is where to. Um, yeah, I'll fish. There's this this creek here which I fished yesterday, and there's a side creek over here. I reckon we'll fish that today, this morning. Um, but then, yeah, where to go after that? Uh, the forecast is still 15 to 20 knots. Oh, there are a few bodies here this morning. I think it's time to make my chai. There's one. See that? Right on my wrist. Right, right at the end of my nose there. Got him. <laughs> Time to check the crab pots. You can tell the uh, the water's really brown. And that's actually not, not what I was hoping. So, we'll see how we go today. Haven't heard too much action this morning either. Um, yeah, all the action was last night. Fish, the mangroves, it was all just alive with noises and popping and stuff. Let's hope we got some crabs this morning.
So yesterday I figured out, even though I've got missing panels and I haven't inflated the keel, if I do it just right, I can get this thing on the plane. Let's see. Try and do it nice and gentle. The motor will cavitate a little bit. Oh, there we go. We're on the plane. It's very unstable and it's sort of porpoising a bit, but it is possible. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> yeah, it's probably not, definitely not the best thing to be doing, but uh, it means I can go a little bit quicker. I wonder if I can get rid of this bucket. Hang on, let's see. Move this bucket down here. There we go, that's better. There we go, that's smoother now. I also can't leave this river system until the tide's at least, mm, I'm gonna say about three quarters full. Yesterday I snuck in with um, about a meter of water. And at the moment we're probably 20, 30 centimeters below that meter. So we're yeah, probably four or five foot lower than when I came in. So yeah. We may as well make the best of what we got while we're here. So we might try the drain over here. It's right next to the boat. I haven't fished it yet. It's um, yeah, just here. And the good thing is as the tide pushes in, it brings in cleaner water, which is what you want for mangrove, Jack. Oh, <laughs> first hit of the morning. Silver, so either trevally or tarpon. Could could have been a thread fin as well. Oh, another hit. Come on, come on. Found a spot with some fish, but we're getting out of the zone. Oh, another one. Oh, that's different. That was a different one. Oh, just missing them. That one was actually a little bit smaller. Oh, got him. Oh, yep, they're tarpon. Ooh, there's a whole bunch of fish here. Right to my left. And they're not interested. There's some more fish in the back. All perfect cast. No. Nope. That's not good. About 20 fish in there and another five or six in there. Nothing. Oh, I missed a big one. Oh, there's a couple in there. Perfect. Let's see if they go again. Come on. Oh, yes. Get it. Got him. Get it. Yes. That's him. That's him. That's the one I want. Oh, it's either a cod or a jack. I think it's fighting like a cod. Oh, no. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, it's a big fish. Get out. Get out. Get out. Oh, he's on the bottom. Yep, that's a big fish. Oh, it's a big jack. He's a monster jack. Oh, I just saw red. Oh. No, get out from under there. No, get out. Look at the size of that thing. Oh, we've got food. Oh, actually, I've got to get it in first. Oh, that is a big fish. That's what I've been waiting for. Oh, and that was the second one that came out. There was three or four in there. Oh, look at the size of you. That is a monster. Now, if it was barra season, I'd um, keep fishing and try and catch a barra, but I'm not allowed to, so I'm gonna have to, oh, there goes a the plastic. I'm gonna have to eat this guy. Got him. Ah. That's got to be close to my biggest jack. Look at you. Oh. Actually, hold him in here. Don't want to drop him. My other camera literally just overheated. It's, it's like 7.30 in the morning and my camera's overheating. Look at that. <laughs> I um, guesstimate him at 48 centimeters. What a beautiful fish. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Oh, look at the, the fangs on him. Big massive eye. Ooh, something's eating something over there. Oh, I've got lunch at least. So good. Oh, almost had me in the snags too. Look at the colours on him. All right, 
That is a big fish. Normally I wouldn't keep a fish like that. But yeah, out of barra season. And yesterday I got nothing. So I can't afford to to let this guy go. I could I could be here for another two nights, who knows? Just quickly show you the gear I got it on. The um, Major Craft Siana 3000. Uh, I got 20 pound Atomic 8 carrier braid on that. And then the Atomic Arrows Barra 6 foot medium heavy. Really nice outfit. And um, they don't cost too much. So yeah, if you want to give lure casting a go, have a go at these. And I'm running the Atomic Plazos 7 inch um, Barra Worm. The reason I'm using these is because they've got this nice long curly tail and um, since I discovered them, they've actually been around for a while, but since I discovered them they've become my favourite lure, um, especially for the stuff I like doing, casting into into snags, pulling out big jacks like that. And I'm running a um, size 0 ball sinker on a 4.0 Gemagatsu and that there that's a um, like a glow bead and that just stops the, um, the knot getting caught in my um, a rod tip. I should have told you too, I'm running a um, 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. Normally I run 30, but uh, I thought I'd go a little bit lighter, thinking that this creek was gonna be, um, yeah, like really clear. And I think that's made the difference this morning. It is a little bit clearer. It's not super clear yet. Um, as the tide pushes in, it, it'll get a little clearer. So I've decided that clearer water is gonna be my friend today. Jacks really do like the clearer water. They're a very visual fish, whereas barramundi, they like to, they, they, um, they feed a lot with their lateral line, they feel the vibrations. Whereas jacks, they got that big eye, they're 100% focused on eye. Eye identification, identification? There you go, not eye identification, hang on. <laughs> so instead of going up that side creek, I'm uh, heading out the front. That feels so good, having a fish in the boat. I always um, feel better after I've caught my first fish. I feel like I've got an episode. If I don't catch a fish, I um, yeah, I don't really wanna make a video without a fish. I think there's either a sunken tree or a rock here. Let's see if there's any jacks on it. It's a perfect spot for them. Ambush spot right where the current's going past. Oh, Trevally! Oh, I missed him. Kind of worked. Not the species I was after, but yeah. Another rock up here. There's actually a whole bunch of rocks along here. You can see them up to the left there. Oh, what a hit! <laughs> Not paying attention. Oh, a couple of Trevally. Come on! 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 <laughs> oh, a bit of fun. Oh, there they are. They're still there. They can't resist a bit of surface action. Oh! <laughs> oh, that was a nice... Pretty sure it's a jack. Oh, there he comes. Almost had a second go. Hook didn't actually come out of that. Oh! Oh! That was a good hit. Very good hit. You're probably wondering what I did with the mangrove jack earlier. It's been probably two hours since we've caught it. And most fish are actually pretty good as long as they're not in direct sun. And like you haven't, haven't opened them up, like the meat's not exposed, like they've, they've still got their skin intact. I'll show you what I do. So that's in there. That's a wet towel. And yeah, he's um, really happy in there. And I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something different. Uh, I've never done this before. We'll just give it a shot. Should be tasty. <laughs> and I think we'll get the crab pots in the next episode. I just wanna, yeah, cook lunch, and then we're gonna have to get out of here, because, yeah, this river has no crabs, and I wanna still get crabs on this trip, but that'll have to be in the next episode. So, yeah, let's cook up this fish. Lunch time. First thing we're gonna do is cook some rice. I'm just gonna use sushi rice, because that's what I got. You can always use it for sushi later on, but we don't have to. Full cup of that, and a full cup of water, and just a little bit extra. I always, always like to have a little bit extra. I'm gonna use the absorption method, 
There we go. Maybe 10, 15 percent extra. And that should be ready in about 10, 12 minutes. This is actually really cool with the, um, the wet towel. And having the towel on here also means that the fish is not going to slide around on the cutting board. I'm just going to take off one fillet. That's actually a huge fillet. Like that fillet alone is 26 centimetres long. So she's a good size fish. Now I forgot my um, I forgot my sounder. I forgot my sleeping bag. I forgot my my knife. Um, yeah, I don't know what else I've forgotten, but kind of rushed getting out in the water this trip. So I just have to make do with what I got. Nice white flesh on these mangrove jack. Go right along the bones. And I'm going to use the head and the stomach contents for crab pot bait. There we go. That bit of blood will wash off. Beautiful big filler. That's actually, oh, that's a lot of meat. See how I go eating that. And this is going in the crab pot. There we go. Beautiful. Take the skin off. This knife is not ideal for skinning. You want a little bit of a flexible knife for skinning, but we'll make it work. There we go. Let's see. Beautiful job. Nice piece of mangrove jack. I'm gonna chop up one chili. We'll take out most of the seeds, not all. And just make that into nice little slivers. So we've got a bit of heat in there. Then I've got a lime and I want to take the zest off that. So I'm just doing a really fine shave off the lime. Normally you'd um, grate that, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't bring my grater. I forgot many things this trip. That's all right. Chopping. We just want little pieces. And while we're at it, we'll cut a little flat bottom on there. And then with our mangrove jack, we're just gonna cut it into some nibble sized pieces. Bones here, we'll avoid the bones. You might wonder why I cook in these odd positions, like have a look, I've got the stove down here. It's so that the light, when, when the boat swings, like the light here is blown out and then the light like down here is, is or down, down here, like it's non-existent. So yeah, I just try and find a spot where when the boat's swinging in the wind, I get reasonable light on whatever I'm doing. So that's the reason why <laughs> I cook in odd positions sometimes. Chucking a big dob of butter. And there's nothing really hard about this cooking here. It's just me experimenting with different flavors and slight, slightly different techniques. As soon as it sizzles, we'll whack the fish in. Mangrove jack is nice and firm, which is why I like cooking with it. Yep, still haven't got the best spot in the boat. There's sun going in and this will be dark. But we've started, so we have to keep going. Now chuck in the chili. I want the chili to get a little bit of colour on it. Oh, I can smell that chili. Oh yeah. You can tell the fish is getting close to half cooked when it goes white, so we'll flip it over. And while the fish is cooking, I want to spoon the chili butter mixture onto the fish. Okay, we get our rice. And we get our pieces of fish. Put them right on top. Oh, they're very tender. I haven't trouble picking them up. There we go. One more. Beautiful. And then I managed to drop most of my 
lime gratings on the floor so we've, we don't have a heck of a lot that was supposed to be a nice little burst of color get our lime nice squeeze all over that and then to finish it off some nice dollops of sour cream come on get off there we go mangrove jack chili lime with rice and sour cream look at that beautiful mm -mm. how good does that look that's uh, looking pretty good to be honest i'm very hungry okie dokie how's this gonna taste looks pretty good i can smell the lime and the chili mm, let's try a piece of fish it's just on its own Mmm, it's got that little tiny singe from the um, the browning of the butter. Mm, that's nice. Singe is probably the wrong word. Caramelization. There we go. Let's um, try try a bit of everything: rice, sour cream, fish, chili. There we go. Oh, I like that combination. Yeah. Mmm, tropical. The chilies are very very mild. Oh, that, that lime really kicks in into another gear. Mmm, that is delicious. Hmm. And the sour cream, so the, the rice just feels like it, it's bulking the meal out. Mmm, and the, the sour cream is like kind of filling this. The, the fish is the meaty part. Yeah, I, oh, <laughs> for something that I just thought, oh, I'll just try these flavors together. That's actually really delicious. Mmm. Mm. Oh, this is this is really nice. For something that's really simple, easy to do, it tastes delicious. Yeah, I like it. Mm. Mm. If you're still here, I've picked out a special video just for you. Check it out.